we look at 2 September 1945, Ho Chi Minh in Hanoi Square, quoting American Declaration of Independence for the independence of his country. At the same time, in Tokyo Bay, General MacArthur is accepting the unconditional surrender of the Japanese Empire. Two key events going on at the same day. The late president at that point in time, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, had been very much against colonialism, wanted to do away with colonialism in any way, shape, or form. Unfortunately, he died in April of 45, and uh, Harry Truman becomes a president. Uh, Truman didn't necessarily carry on all the same thoughts that Roosevelt did. And in the post-World War II time period, we have countries who are devastated by the war trying to rebuild, the French are trying to rebuild, and they get their former colonies back, specifically Indochina. And the problem for Vietnam was they're expecting independence, and instead they're put back under a colonial yoke. A conflict starts. The French have several hundred thousand troops committed at that point in time. Dien Bien Phu, a big battle. The French lose that. They withdraw. But the leftover is that the United States is fully committed at that point in time. Vietnam is petitioned in two points, and it's part of the Cold War which results.